praise the Lord. Welcome back to another Predestined, Predestined Kingdom Ministries International Videos. I'm Kenithia J. And so I'm just going to get right into it. Definitely, Father, we come before your throne in the name of the Lord God Jesus, thanking you, worshiping you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your time and your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace and your mercies today, every day, yesterday, and the past. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I pray only say what you want me to say. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping me pray. <laughs> I pray only say what you want me to say, and then I get off the video. Okay, I pray your will be done in our lives, not our wills. I pray, hallelujah, each and every one of us that come across this video, learn how to put you first in all that we desire, come to do in every way, thought, and encounter. In the name of the Lord God Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, so this video will be short and I will be reading from 2 Samuel 22, verse 25. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyes. So the Lord ministered to me this morning and he's saying, it doesn't matter what anybody else says about you, but the Lord, what he says, go, he sees you in his image. And so he's saying he has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyes. Everyone don't see you as clean. Some people still see the past. They don't see the new you. They don't see hallelujah, the growth that you see or that father God or the Lord God does in you daily. And so you have to really, it goes back to trust in father God, trust in the Lord God, um, in every situation and outcome. And one thing the Lord was ministering to me on through, um, pastor Latoyoki and pastor Joel Osteen was that you have to receive what you pray for in the now. You have to just trust God that is done, even though it hasn't physically manifested. And so when days and days and weeks go by and you utter out um, negative sayings or sentences and frustration, thank you, Holy Spirit, then it contradicts the prayer that you put out to the Lord. And so it's like you canceling it. It's like you're, you know, and, and, and it's the spirit of doubt at the end of the day one of the other things the lord was saying was when he says self-sabotage and i got this one from shannon wells hallelujah that's uh, i'll explain that um the reason why you hear me mention different people is because one we don't plagiarize on this channel praise the lord <laughs> we like to give the holy spirit credit wherever he is due at okay so that's the number one thing and then number two hallelujah um the lord was showing me certain um it's a sign thank you holy spirit it's a sign so um when the lord says you're waiting on other people to break through for those of you who um he has spoken that part to he mean just that um it may not be necessarily um, you helping them, but they helping you. The Lord released his prophets to hallelujah, to heal, to deliver, to save, to set free, to warn, comfort, and correct. Hallelujah. And grace and humbleness. And so through the Holy Spirit at all times. And so um, he walked me through my history. It was um, not um, not in a bad way. Hallelujah. But to thank him, to be grateful. Because um, when he was bringing me back, starting back in, what, 2018, 
um was it 2018 yeah i believe around then the lord started bringing me back and it was through the potter's house hallelujah well yeah i told you guys i used to watch pastor joel osteen um at lakewood church i used to watch him a lot when i was um pregnant with phoenix he gave me uh through the holy spirit gave me a lot of courage but anyway coming back because i fell i have fell from then as while being a uh, uh becoming a single mom and transitioning and all of that um I had to go through the potter. <laughs> that makes sense. Because God is the potter. And so he brought me through through the potter's house. Hallelujah. And it went on from there um, to Unity Church Charlotte, which is Pastor Jamila Gooden. And you have to have unity. Hallelujah. If there's no unity, no love, God's not there. And that goes into the next message, hallelujah, of, of, of being wicked and how you create this and that. And you think it's okay and you're not harming any people, but in reality you are in a lot of ways. But anyway, I'm sorry, I don't mean to go everywhere, but God is speaking, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit is. And so, from, from the potter's house to unity, who is next, Eddie? Praise the Lord. Praise and Evangelism Miracle Ministries. That's a church in Miami Gardens, Florida. Hallelujah. And there I learned I learned a lot. Um, that's when the Lord really started to um, adjust my prayer life, my way of thinking. Um, he was already doing it, but I'm just, I'm showing y'all this to say, hallelujah, then hallelujah ministries international. You got to give God the praise and you, and that's one thing he wants to ground us and root us on is praise and worshiping him. Um, definitely for the cross first, hallelujah. But for this right here, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyes. When he forgives us of our sins, he throws them away into the sea of forgetfulness. Hallelujah. And he makes us whole during time until we're made perfect in his eyes. And so when you have people around you that keep bringing you back to your past or that's always negative or it's never like something positive or if you tell them something positive about you, they're uncomfortable or um, if they need you, then they're there for you. Like those kind of people, you have to make sure they're not close. They're not in your circle because that can mess up your walk. Hallelujah. That can mess up the way that you see yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so the Lord does bring, He like you, you do have to come, thank you, Holy Spirit, encounter him through many of his chosen ones and his people and everything falls into place on his time hallelujah from um from hallelujah ministries international hallelujah um who was next that kingdom obedience ministry father god to show me obedience how to obey him and so that's the number one reason why i pray for obedience upon this whoever watches these videos and upon me daily um, through predestined, predestined kingdom ministries, which I, of course, we got some of the name from um, kingdom obedience ministries, but it's okay because that's what leadership does. They duplicate and that's how you know, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, that you are um, successful is living out your purpose. Hallelujah. And, and, and so when the lord brings these strangers or these people and you test the spirit and you see they're of his holy spirit it's okay to to be led by them through the holy spirit you always test the spirit on every word but um when that's one thing you can always tell about these leaders when when they're um hallelujah psalm 37 verse 4 delighting themselves in the lord you, you will always see the glory of God on their life and partake in the grace. Shabbat. 
and partake in the grace that is upon their lives. And it's because you're 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 not just a, a um you're not just taking, but you're you're a doer of their word. You're a doer eh, Shaba, of what they're teaching you. You're not just taking it in and sitting it or blasphemy in the Holy Spirit and rebuking what they're saying or um getting too offended to where you can't um be get their rebukes through the Holy Spirit and 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 grow and and learn the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Praise the Lord. Okay, that is all for this video. You all have a great day. Shalom.